Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the next part of Friends or Lovers and things are getting crazy. So Leon and us are in a fake relationship now and now we're up and we're to do with the whole families and everyone thinks we're dating and it's a freaking hot mess. And our little main character Jenna over here is I think getting some slight feelings for Leon and things are heating up a little bit so we get to see what happens and apparently it's going to heat up even more if this description is anything to go by. So without further ado, let's just start all of this. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you aren't already and let's start the juicy drama. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Mom, she knows that like she was trying to have us do some other stuff. Okay, I did. The picture of you and Leon is so cute. You can really see the sparks flying between you. My little baby is in love. Mom, stop. I'm gonna upload it on my page. Oh no, what? Don't do that. No, that's the worst. Why not? Um, we're not ready to shout it out to the world yet. Plus, Leon just broke up with Cora, so we're taking things slow. Thank goodness that trash was taken out. Oh, of course. I'll just upload a cat picture instead. Mom looks so sad. Well, have fun with that. I got two likes already. Oh, she's getting crazy with her social media page. Parents on social media is something else. I swear. Oh, look, it's Jen, our favorite person, our fave sister. So, you and Leon. Yeah, yeah. What about us? You told me that he wasn't your type and you told us that it's fine, I'm pretty sure. And now you're dating? So, it's none of your business. I know you're hiding something. You've been acting very fishy lately. Why does she care? Like, it's not your issue, Jen. Why do you care, girl? Why do you care so much about my personal life? Is it because you like him? I swear, correct me if I'm wrong if you've seen like the first chapter. I swear she said that like she didn't care if we liked Leon or something. Don't be ridiculous. How about you just get off my back then? I will find out what you're up to, sister dear. Okay then, Jen. Good luck with that. Mm, bye. <laughs> Why is she so just evil? Like, well, I can't say she's evil just yet because we don't know for sure, but why is she in our business? Hey, what's up? Oh, wow. What's he doing over here? Oh, we're just sitting on him with our legs on top of him. Okay. Mom is being annoying and Jen is acting like a crazy person. But other than that, I'm fine. Okay. What's up with Jen? She questions our relationship. Really? I don't think she believes us. Who cares? What if she's still into you? Why are you laughing? Are you nervous she might steal me away from you? Okay, Leon. Honestly, even if she's got her eyes on you, I couldn't care less. Oh, she... Oh, I think that's a little bit of a lie, though. Maybe I should go and kiss her then. Uh, go ahead or don't do it. Uh, okay, go ahead. Bye. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I don't care. Okay, on second thoughts, I don't want to complicate things. That's what I thought, Leon. That's what I thought. You were trying to sit there and be Mr. Baddie and be like, oh, I'll go kiss her. And it came back when we were like, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to go home tonight? The house is kind of creepy and I'd rather sleep in my own bed tonight. Me too. When can we leave? Right now? That would be amazing. Are you really that sick of this place? Seriously, just one day in this place is enough. Let me just talk to my parents and we can leave. All right. Oh, oh we're leaving already? Okay. So did it work? Wait, what? Do you have everything? Okay, so wait, we came up for the weekend, the trip, and then we're just going home after one night. Everything is packed into the car. Great, let's go. I'm so confused. Are you leaving? Yes, Jen, we're leaving. Yeah. Leon, you mind giving me a ride too? Ugh! What is she up to? Don't you have friends around here that can give you a ride home? I'd rather let Leon take me home. Why is she like this? I can hold your hand while you drive. Who does she think she is? You'd have to ask Jenna. Jenna, do you want Jen to come with or do you want it to just be the two of us? I really don't want Jen to tag along the floor with Leon, but it's like, whatever. Like, if they do something, that's their prerogative. Fine, let Jen join. Whatever, yay. I call shotgun. It's like, honestly, whatever. <sighs> If Leon wants Jen and she's going to be like that, he can have her. Like, sure. It's just not. Why is her sister like this, though? Like, I don't understand. Maybe we find out later in the story if there's, like, bad blood between the two of them. But I don't understand why she wants Leon so badly. You okay back there, sis? Yeah, we're fine, girl. No, your luggage is taking up all the space. Why is she so extra? You'll into her. This is such a nice car, Leon. Uh, thanks. You're into cars. Why is she evil? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, me too. No, you're not. Really? I didn't know that. Leon, she's lying. There's a lot about me that you don't know. Please, God, kill me. 
When I got home, I called Ella and asked her to come over. I needed to tell her about the fake relationship, the lake house, and about Jen flirting with Leon. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, she's back from the dead, Miss Ella. Oh my gosh, the pale icon queen, ooh. Okay, you kissed Leon. <laughs> I was blinded for a second. Is that what you get by this whole story? Although I shouldn't really like make fun of her. Like, <laughs> I'm so pale. I'm just shocked. Who do you think I am? What do you think I am? Whatever. What What do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Same thing. It was embar so embarrassing. Have you guys talked about it? Not really. There's not much to say. She matches our hair color. <laughs> I wonder what he thinks about it. And what about Jen flirting with Leon? It's ridiculous. I don't get why she'd do it. It's because she always wants what you want. She's jealous of you. You think? Yes, it's always been obvious. Yeah, well, this really showed how obvious it was because Jin had no reason to do any of this. Meanwhile, what is going on? Why are these two boys in the house? You guys kissed? Oh, okay. It's their friends. I was like, is this Jin's room? Like, what is she doing? Dude, I mean, she's pretty hot. Okay, Raj. But you don't go around kissing your friends. That's weird. Yeah, what will if it mess up your friendship? And that won't happen. Our friendship is way too strong to break over some meaningless kiss. Oh, I think y'all are going to be more than friends soon enough. So it won't happen again? No. And this whole fake relationship thing was your idea. Yeah, you're such an airhead. Shut it. Oh, does he have some secrets? A few hours later. Your bed is so soft I could lay here all day. Well, don't get too comfortable. I'm sure it's better than the crypt you live in. Okay, what? what's that noise? It sounds like there's a party downstairs. Stupid Jen. <gasps> That's why she wanted to come home with us. I'm going to check it out. I'll be right back. Oh gosh, of course Jen is down here throwing a party. She's throwing a rager down here. So three guys have told me I look pretty tonight. Only three... Okay, Stan, you could be nice to your friend, jeez. Oh no, not them, literally, that's good. I'm glad they're not nice. What do y'all want? Fiona and Sandy, Jen's best friends. It's very fitting for Jen. They're as obnoxious as Jen. I like to call them Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Can I help you? I'm looking for Jen. She's probably around somewhere. But girl, what are you wearing? Cuter outfits than both of you put together. Excuse me? It's not a beach party, you know. Great, I forgot to change. Pretend it's designer clothes. How dare you? This is probably more expensive than anything you own. Really? It's from Sergio Faro Limited Collection. I wouldn't expect you to know that though. Oh my God, you look stunning. They're such, oh my gosh, they make me, ugh. I have to buy that outfit. I can't believe they bought it and they're gonna go buy it and they're gonna show up on our outfit. Good, I hope they know. Bye, freaking Tweedledum and Tweedledee, ugh. <gasps> but it's Leon, Leon, Jenna, hey, what are you doing here? Jin invited me. Awesome party. And you didn't care to look for me? <laughs> Jin said that you were having a migraine and wanted to sleep. Jin says a lot of things. This girl really does. I didn't want to disturb you. Mm, that's nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're up. Obviously. Great party, Jin. Well, duh. If there's anyone who knows how to throw a party, it's me. What if mom finds out? Jenna, come on. Loose up a bit. Don't take her side, Leon. Uh, okay. Whatever. Have fun with Jen. Bye. You two deserve each other. Why is she so upset? It's probably the migraine. I should see how she's doing. Should you? Come on. Stay and dance. She can take care of herself. She knows where the painkillers are if she's in need. There's nothing you can do. She needs to rest. Now show me your best moves. That's her best move? Really? Ugh. I want to kill Jen. Whoa, what did she do? Well, she invited Leon over and told him I had a migraine and didn't want to be disturbed. Seriously? Yes, seriously. That's despicable. You know what we should do? What? We should ruin her party. <gasps> what are we going to do? I'm just yes, I like that idea, but how are we going to do that? It's easy. We dress up in our Halloween cop costumes and raid the party. <gasps> we will get people to leave quicker than lightning. Jen will get what she deserves and it'll be hilarious. What do you say? Are you in? I think I'll pass. Oh, okay. If you want to let her win, then fine by me. Like, okay, here's the thing. If we let her win this time, she's having her little party and she's not going to suspect a thing. And then we have the perfect opportunity. We will ruin Jin for all the little stunts she's pulled. Plus, I'm giving her one last chance, one benefit of the doubt, to change soon. She better change soon or else I will ruin her with my next option. So... 
Let's have her have her moment real fast here, and then we will destroy her. I hope they don't party too long. All this noise is giving me a headache. Okay, so we actually got a migraine. I hope they don't party too long, she said. Do you have another pillow? No, but I can get you one. Thanks. Okay, let's go get our little friend a pillow since she's used to little crypts and coffins. And Oh, are we sticking to Jen's room? Because we should steal it. I really need to talk to you. Let's go into this room. <gasps> All right. Was that Jen and Leon? <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, hide. What are they going to do? What do you want to talk to me about? Well, you see, I need some advice. Does she need advice? Or is she trying to do a little sneaky sneak right now and be backhanded? Let's see what she did. Or underhanded. What is she going to... Oh, gosh. Okay, we have a perfect view of this. What is she up to? The thing is, I like someone. Is it Leon? But the man I like is together with someone else. At least I think he is. <gasps> she's trying to get information. That's what she's doing. I was wondering if you could get me some advice on what to do. You're asking me? Yeah, you're so honest. I just so I can trust you with all my secrets. Um, okay. Well, I think you should tell him that you like him. It doesn't have to be over just because he's in a relationship. Maybe he's miserable in the relationship and wants to break up with her. And he's just waiting for someone like you to come along. You're totally right, Lynn. Well, okay, maybe it's just me, y'all, but when people are miserable in a relationship, I mean, everyone has different, like, things that happen to them in life, different situations. I can't judge everyone to each their own, but I always find it funny when people are in a relationship and they, like, wait for someone to come along to, like, break up with their current. It's like, why couldn't she just break up with them and, like, be single and then, like, meet someone? I don't know. That's just my train of thought. Like, if I was unhappy with someone, I would just end it. And then open my doors and opportunities or whatnot, or if there was someone that, like, maybe I had sparks with or something, but I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't get the whole waiting for, I mean, okay, I do to an extent, but let me know what y'all think. Like, do y'all think, like, people should stay in a relationship even if they're miserable just to wait for someone new to come along, or do you think they should just take the initiative and be single and not be in the miserable relationship and then see what happens? Let me know. I want to know y'all's opinions. You're totally right, Leon. How can I ever thank you? You don't need to thank me, but I want to. Oh, she's going to thank him like this. This is what she's going to do. Jen, what are you doing being a skank? I know what you really want, Leon. And what is that? Hopefully not you, a real woman. <gasps> what is she trying to pull? Whoa. Oh, no, and we saw it too. Oh, my gosh. What's going to happen? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Jen has officially crossed the line. She's stepped too far into our territory and she's trying to do all this. I cannot believe our sister is trying to do this stuff. Who does that? Like, that's so messed up to me, especially like your sister. Like, I don't know. I just, even a friend doing that, it's just wrong. Unless they have permission. I don't know. I just think it's just wrong. Especially, ugh, Jen disgusts me. Like, why you do that? It's like, I want to find out more about Jen to know maybe why she necessarily feels this way. The need to do all this stuff. Like, take our, her sister's current boyfriend. I know they're like fake dating or whatnot, but technically they might be like, if they were really dating, Jen would still be pulling this. And that's wrong. That's so gross and disgusting. Like, that is just not, ugh. But I do want to find out more about Jen because maybe something in the past triggered this. I don't know. She's clearly jealous of our girl Jenna, but whatever. That is no excuse. But whew, we went through a lot. Hopefully in the next one, just even based off the description, we're going to teach little Jen a lesson here and hopefully just get things ready for us. But I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Yeah, she's fervent with a smile They came from hell to see